Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to be talking about your ultimate superpower after dealing with narcissists. If that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Your ultimate superpower after dealing with narcissists. You've been involved with narcissists and it brought you nothing but overwhelming distress, grief, suffering, unhappiness, misery, sorrow and sadness where you experienced a lack of success, non-fulfillment, defeat, confusion, and frustration. And now you may feel like you are at the lowest point of your life, where you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, and you feel worse than you have ever felt. You feel stuck and trapped. You feel like you can't find your way out of this situation and feeling. After you experienced a particularly un unsuccessful and unenjoyable period or moment, to the point where you may just feel like giving up on your life. But your lowest point is actually your greatest opportunity. It is your superpower. As long as you still have hope, ambition and belief in yourself. Because they may have laughed at you. They may have mocked and ridiculed you and they may have publicly humiliated you, and it may have caused you to doubt yourself after you experienced so much disappointment, so much sadness and displeasure caused by the non-fulfillment of your hopes and expectations, so many failures, letdowns, misfortunes and setbacks because of things that happened or because of things that didn't happen but people who are able to regulate their own emotions are the ones who are going to win in the end because you're able to stabilize yourself and emotional stability is the key to success while toxic and dysfunctional people are destined to fail and become dissatisfied with their lives because they need to recreate their inner turmoil in the external environment so that they can feel comfortable and sane. They thrive in dysfunctional environments, which is how you know they're not going to get very far because they're their own worst enemies. They cause most of their problems and most of the bad things that happen to them because of their character. They're maladaptive and maladaptive behaviors are detrimental to a person and leave them ill-equipped to handle their surroundings. They will negatively affect the individual and they will not reduce any anxiety or stress they are experiencing. Even though this may be the goal of their behaviors, maladaptive behaviors are a poor response to a situation or stimulus. So in the end, it only worsens their anxiety. It leads to poor educational and professional attainment and it contributes to unhealthy coping behaviors to where they become even more toxic and abusive. And they drink excessive amounts of alcohol and use recreational drugs. So essentially, they're just shooting themselves in the foot. They're doing things which are causing problems for themselves and harming their own chances of success. And it damages them until they become more and more messed up because they chose to deal with it the wrong way when they could have just seen it as a challenge, as something that puts them to the test, because that would have produced a different result in the end. But they couldn't deal with the things that happened to them, so they became even more toxic. Because they're of such a low level of consciousness and awareness, they're unintelligent. They're dishonest, immoral and unpleasant people who have a bad influence on those around them. They create problems and cause trouble for other people. 
for the simple fact that they're discontented with their own circumstances. They're restlessly dissatisfied, disgruntled and disaffected. And for this reason, you cannot adapt to them because they're so full of anger and rage and they have all of these addictions. So you will find that the more that you distance yourself from them, the more that your anxiety lessens and the more that your educational and professional attainment improves because you're capable of dealing with failures, letdowns, misfortunes and setbacks, but they're not. Which is why when they see you moving on and things are getting better for you, they will come back only to betray you, even while they're talking about you behind your back. And they won't see anything wrong with doing that because they already understand that it's them and not you. They already know that they're the problem. That's why they don't stop. That's why they keep coming back. Because they already know that if they deviated from their current course of action, it would immediately, immediately put them at a disadvantage and you would show them in a bad light, even if you didn't intend to which is why you can't be around them. Because even though you may have the discipline, self-control and the inner strength to do better, be better and live a morally right and virtuous life, they just can't do it. They can't hold their end of the bargain. They can't be responsible. They can't be mature. They can't do what they have promised or arranged to do. And instead, they're only ever going to fall short. They're going to fail to meet, reach and live up to what they could have been. If they had the inner strength, if they had the discipline and self-control. Because they're only going to continue on this path of self-destruction. Their lives are going to deteriorate. They're going to become aggressively worse. To the point where you will reach levels far beyond what they could ever imagine. Because you have the skills needed to succeed. The communication, critical thinking, decision making, problem solving, adaptability, emotional intelligence, confidence, resilience and active listening. You have all of these skills. But these are all skills that they lack, which is why you cannot be around them. Because they're not thinking logically or rationally. Their thoughts are based on their own negative and stable emotions. But for a person to think logically, it requires concentration and a clarity of mind. While narcissists are constantly dysregulated, which is why they're always trying to get you to emotionally react. Because they feed off your emotions. Logic and reason does nothing for them. Because they had unmet emotional needs in childhood. They have a shaky foundation and nothing you say or do is going to change that because they already know that they're not right. Their efforts are directed towards gathering information and manipulating you so that they can destabilize you because that's the only way that they can regulate their emotions. And even when they're emotionally regulated, they're still in denial and they will be unwilling to take accountability for anything because what they're really seeking is a fantasy where they can do whatever they want. They can abuse and mistreat people and people turn a blind eye and keep praising and validating them and do not walk away. So essentially, in order to coexist with a narcissist, you have to abandon the core of who you are. You have to be in denial just like them. You have to choose their false self over yourself because there's no room for a genuine person in the narcissist world. Their world would cease to exist. It would fall apart. Which is why if they don't discard you, you'll feel like you have to get rid of them because they're just so toxic. Until at some point, you will get used to getting rid of people because they don't fulfill their promises. They can't hold their end of the bargain because they lack the inner strength. They lack the mental power and endurance. 
They lack the willpower, courage, self-confidence and self-discipline. So they constantly fall short. And in the end, they end up blaming you for everything because they're irresponsible. They just do whatever they like and they don't care what happens afterwards to the point where they become untrustworthy and undependable. And yet they wonder why you don't want to listen to a word they say, but it's because they run from responsibility. So now they lack the capabilities to be able to thrive and succeed while we choose to do the work. And by doing that, we choose abundance. We choose to remove ourselves from bad situations where people betrayed us. They showed feelings, thoughts, or particular characteristics but then violated our trust and confidence. They disappointed our hopes and expectations because they didn't live up to who they portrayed themselves to be. But when that happened, we didn't go down in life. We didn't allow ourselves to be defeated. And instead, it only motivated us even more to do what is right. Because we understand that doing the wrong things is never going to make anything better. And in fact, doing that would only disconnect us from ourselves and our emotions to where we're no longer expressing how we feel, which is the result of trauma. And it is the opposite of how we would naturally be. Because love is what makes us human. Our biology prepares us for love and connection but there is no love at the core of a narcissist. There's only shame and unworthiness. And yet, they don't want to experience these emotions, so they project them onto you and leave you feeling like something is wrong with you while they justify cheating, swindling and exploiting you because they see it as though if you were foolish enough to fall for it, then it's your fault when it actually has nothing to do with intelligence. Narcissists do not manipulate using intelligence. They use your emotions to manipulate you. So even the most brilliant person in the world might still be susceptible to emotional manipulation. Narcissists exploit how you feel and what you want. But by knowing this, we can then identify what got us involved with them in the first place. Because had we not been so full of strong feelings, then they wouldn't have had their way with us. It's because we were too emotionally invested. We were too emotionally attached. And they played with our emotions. They used them to their advantage so that they could get what they wanted from us. Which is why in this day and age, we need to accept that we can't wear our hearts on our sleeves because doing so will only increase the chances of people taking advantage of your kindness and sensitivity, where they will use it against you to their own means. Instead, it's better to get, the, get to know the person first and lead with our minds rather than our hearts, as narcissists have dominated the emotional realm. So revealing your emotions too soon and to the wrong people will only lead you to being manipulated, used, robbed and lied to once they've mirrored you and lured you in. Because that's all they're going to do. That's their idea of fun. It's what they always do, which is why we have to take accountability to prevent this from happening. Because even though, yes, we were manipulated, the reality is that we still let bad people into our lives, which is why we must improve our discernment. We must improve our ability to judge well, because that's clearly a weakness that has been exploited in us where we always saw the good in other people because we see the good in ourselves. We trust other people because we trust ourselves. We know we would never do what they do and we never have done what they've done. 
So we assume that everyone is the same, which is an error in our discernment, because people like that should never be granted access into our lives. They shouldn't be anywhere near us, because just look at how they treated us. They used and abused us. They left us far worse off than before we met them, which proves that they were not deserving of even being in our presence. Because if a person is nice enough to welcome you with open arms and offer you a place in their lives and you exploit that and you leave them worse off than before they met you, then something is seriously wrong with you. You should never leave someone worse off than before they met you. And as far as I know, I've never done that with anyone. But this is what these individuals do. They will ruin you. They will destroy you. And in the end, they will still blame you. And once you've engaged with them, there's really not much you can do. Because you're just going to be giving them chance after chance. And nothing is ever going to change. Things only change when you accept what you're dealing with. When you know the truth. Because up until that point, you will experience so many difficulties and problems. But as Jesus said in John 8.32, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Because up until that point, you may have felt nervous and unsure. You may have thought they were playing games. But then you eventually realise that some people really are that crazy. And when you figure it out, you begin to feel a lot better and you won't even hate them for it. Instead, you might just wish them well. You might wish that they eventually figure things out and find peace within themselves because you have found peace within yourself. But since they haven't found that yet, you're going to want to cut ties because you can't feel safe with someone like that in your life. You never know what they're going to do next, which is why you have to keep them at a distance. You can't let them come near to you because otherwise it will have an effect on you. But the more that you experience these types of things, the less of an effect it will have on you because you're familiar with it now you already know what to expect. So you already know not to let them get too close. But they will try to hide who they are as much as they can. Because they already know you don't want that around you. And they know they don't deserve to breathe the same air as you. That's how they use so many manipulative tactics. They can't ever just be themselves because they're trying to avoid anything real. Which is why once you figure them out, they won't want to come near you. And instead they might just talk to you over the phone because they know that if they're in your presence, you're going to know exactly who they are and they don't want that to happen. They just want to meddle and interfere with you. They want to possess you while you are unaware they do not want you to start shining the light on them because they already know who they are and they already know what they've done. That's why they hide. That's why they're the ones who are hiding from you, not the other way around. Because you're not lying about anything. You're not trying to act like something you're not. You're just being you and they're allergic to anything real. They can't handle the truth. Because the truth is very different to what they might want it to be. But this is why your hope and belief in yourself is the greatest superpower on earth, while it doesn't have that same effect on them. Because when people believe in you and you believe in yourself, there's nothing you can't accomplish. Because you're actually about something for real. You're not just looking to mess with people. You're really about it. 
And once you recognize your disappointments and failures and you come back from it, it empowers you. It makes you stronger and more confident because you've learned your lesson. But that doesn't mean you won't ever be affected again. There are always exceptions. And there's always going to be times where you may be caught off guard. But it won't affect you as much as it did before. To the point where it would normally have broken you down. Because now you have this superpower. Which allows you to bounce back from failure and trauma. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcosurvivor. And you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcosurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.